Hello, soccer fans. This is Jose Bosch for FC2Sun.com. You're watching the FC2 Sun Report. The first day of the Desert Diamond Cup has been completed, and after three matches, it's two ties and a win for the fans that came for the day. The 6 o'clock match, New England Revolution against Real Salt Lake, ended in a nil-nil draw. And the second match of the day, Chicago Fire against the Colorado Rapids, ended with a 2-1 win for Chicago. But the big match of the day for FC Tucson fans happened to open the tournament. FC Tucson taking on Chivas USA in a rematch of the opener for North Stadium. Both clubs went scoreless in the first half, but in the 54th minute, Martino Rapella scored the first goal of the match to give FC Tucson a 1-0 lead. But five minutes later, Chivas USA equalized thanks to a golazo for Carlos Alvarez. Neither team threatened much the rest of the match, but Eli Galbert now barely scored a game winner, but his free kick glanced over the crossbar. Head coach Rick Schantz was not in a moral victory mood after the game. I spoke with him and a couple of the players. Uh, I'm actually really disappointed that we didn't score four goals. You know, uh, we created three really, really great chances. And I think Dan's been playing a lot of indoor, um, and he apologized to me. He's like, Coach, I should have scored both of them, and maybe even the third on the, the near post flick. Um, so, you know, that, that, that comes with training, and we haven't, this is the first time that they've all played together. So, uh, Well, I saw him setting up to hit it far post, and uh, it was a great shot. I mean, another, another goal off the post, but uh, I thought I was almost there. Next time, I mean, next time we won't get that. I think he played strong defensively. Uh, you know, they were coming at us with a lot of attackers, people coming out of the back. But uh, I think we, you know, we played strong and uh, held our own. Uh, I think we were better than we expected, and unfortunately, the. The guy, our players didn't understand that, so they kept playing this kind of defensive-minded, not as confident as they should have been. So, um, you know, we, that's what we talked about at halftime. Is and when I switched to two forwards, was we, we can play them straight up, and I think it made a big difference. FC Tucson will play again on Saturday, February 22nd, 1 o'clock against the Chicago Fire. If you want to get tickets, you can. They're still available. You can go to our website at fctucson.com. That's it for this edition of the FC Tucson Report. This is Jose Bosch saying so long, Tucson.